Good morning, everybody. It is 7.39, September 2nd. God bless each and every one of you. I hope and pray everybody receives a message from this. Um, I'm on my way out to uh, another old historic site. And I want to remind everybody, you know, I'm going to do these on it, but remind everybody, these places are going to be melted like they never existed. This is one thing when I go looking at anything here, this is what I see. I see uh, where the Lord showed it to me. These things are going to be melted like they never existed. Yeah, and one thing that I always remember is how it says they made merchandise of us. In other words, this is what, you know, they're chains. Everything's chains. They're, uh, they've just made merchandise of you where you're no longer people but objects you know things that they make merchandise yeah I was listening to uh, where Jesus when they came to take him away and Peter smited one of the servants of the high priest his ear and uh, Jesus looked at him and he goes you think that I can't drink the cup that uh, my father has given me and then we have to look at what Jesus uh, um, told us when we eat this bread in remembrance of him, you know? And when we drink this cup in remembrance of him. And uh, makes me think of these things, you know? I look at all these things now in a different, every word that's written in this Bible, you know? Here you guys in St. Luke, chapter 12, 35. Let your loins be girded about and your lights burning. And ye yourselves like unto men that wait for their Lord when he will return from the wedding that when he cometh and knocketh they may open unto him immediately blessed are those servants whom the Lord when he cometh shall find watching verily I say unto you that he shall gird himself and make them sit down to meet and will come forth and serve them you guys since this started I'm leaving off right here at 38 <laughs> I've had at least three times that I can think of why I woke up hearing knocking at the door, you know, and uh, I look at how right now we are able to see what so many cannot see, and uh, it makes me... See, you know, we know who we are, predestined and chosen for this time. For so many other people have no clue. Oh, he's dropping off the container here. So many people have no clue as to what's getting ready to happen. Then we have to go into scripture and we have to understand why. Why is it that they have no clue? How can they be watching if they have no clue? And when we tell them and they don't want to believe us, I just got to share with this one guy who was a Muslim. He said he was Muslim this morning. And I showed him the pictures of the spirits and he was like, wow, you know, and he believed all these things that he was seeing. And I told him how I had the dream the other day where I seen tanks with wings. And I seen the big, you know, the uh, where they shoot the missiles out of the tanks. I seen these with wings and they're huge tanks flying in the air. Well, the next day, Cynthia tells me that um, Pakistan or one of these nations over there were shooting anti-tank missiles. Okay, I'm like, wow. So that's what that was. What I seen, what I seen was I seen flying tanks, but the newspaper reported anti-tank missiles. You know, the day after that dream. A lot of times, guys, I've had dreams where three days later they came to pass. This was like one day. 
one day that it came to pass after having that dream. Um, I don't know if I shared it on here with you guys or not. The dream where I said I seen tanks fly. And then the next day it said we're uh, Palestine or something shooting anti-tank missiles um, here in this country. Now they're tightening up their borders and Security's a little bit more right now because of something going on. We know that this is all coming to a head. Everybody else looks at it like it's the same old, same old. This has been going on for a long time. And uh, and it's going to continue. But it's not. Everything's coming to a head. That's why it says they're going to be howling, Lord, Lord, let us, let us in. Okay. So we know, you guys, where it says Jesus is going to be showing up returning unexpectedly. We know our eyes have been opened for this purpose. And we are, and it says for us to be a light, um, to be telling people everything that we know and see. Even though they're not receiving it, we still have to do it, to be the salt. He didn't open our eyes just to sit back like, you know, it's all about us and, and nothing else we're going to be a witness to uh, what's coming and uh, I'm longing for this you guys I'm longing for this to be over because I personally I'm tired of it I'm tired of uh, people not wanting to receive it and I know why they don't want to receive it and it's because of the love of the world the things that are in this world the scripture even says it you know it chokes it out the cares of this life chokes it out and uh, since I've had my eyes open I've seen why uh, everything is what it is here you know and people everything that they're doing here now you know it's all of the world the love of the world okay here we go this is in John uh, chapter 8 31 this is when Jesus spoke these words many believed on him then Jesus said to those Jews which were believed on him if you continue in my word then are you my disciples indeed um, And you shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. You know, I mean, we know, don't we? We know the truth. We know the time that we're in, and we can't get anybody else to believe it. That's really uh, surprising, you know, that people won't accept what we know. It's not like we just think we see. We know. We've been shown the truth. Not only that, the names of everything. It's like as if we're at a whole different level of uh, seeing and knowing and believing. It's like that root. When it takes root, you get uh, the knowledge that he gives us. You know, we wouldn't look at how nobody sees anything. He dwells in each one of us. There's nothing that is that doesn't exist without him. You know, he makes peace. He makes war. He makes everything. You know? That's how I was sharing with that Muslim guy this morning. And he's going, yeah, yeah. And then before we left, I told him, I said, now listen, my faith, my faith is in Jesus Christ. And he goes, yes. And I told him, I said, many Christians right now are sleeping. And I said, because of the love of this world and what's in it, the cares of this world. And he said, yes. And he was glad to hear it. Yeah, you know, I don't get that too often where people, especially he was a Muslim. He was a cook. When I was up there eating breakfast this morning. They answered him. This is what I like. And you shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free. They answered him and they said, we be Abraham's seed and we're never in bondage to any man. How sayest thou you shall be made free? Jesus answered them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, Whoever committeth sin is the servant 
of sin, in other words, the devil is whom it is that you obey. This is what Jesus said, whoever committed sin is the servant of sin. And the servant abideth not in the house forever, but the son abideth forever. If the son therefore shall make you free, you shall be free indeed. That's why he says only through him can we be saved. I know you are Abraham's seed, but you seek to kill me because my word has no place in you. I speak of that which I have seen and my with my father. See, you guys, this is what's happening right now. Even we, what we're seeing and what we know to be the truth, nobody will accept it. We can't even get anybody to believe what we're seeing and what we tell them. You know, another thing is, guys, we know scripture says, cursed are those who make flesh their arm. Everybody trust and believe, even here, they trust and believe their government over God's word. And we know God's word says um, that when the covenant's broken, that he's coming down here with his indignation, with a fervent heat, you know, and I've seen it. He showed it to me where this place is all melted up. It's all melted. I mean melted in, back into the earth like it never existed. That's why when I go around and I'm looking at things or whatever here, to me, I mean, when the Lord shows you what's coming, I don't look at these things like in awe anymore. I look at them like they're already non-existent because I know it's already going to happen. You know, I don't find this stuff like some people want to see. Like the tourists that come here to want to see stuff, I come here and I already see it gone. It's just a matter of when. Not if, but when. And I know it's any time. You know, these places, they, it's like it says, they made merchandise of you. I know you are Abraham's seed, but you seek to kill me because my word has no place in you. Remember this, you guys, most people are going to turn against you and hate you. You haven't even begun to see it yet. They're going to, and I seen it as we were lifting up. That's when people just walking by on a normal day, they... They change instantly, just instantly. The moment that we're going, they change and they turn to come against us. That's why I think it's gonna be difficult for those that are gonna be banging on the door because they're gonna get a, a rude awakening, you know? I speak of that which I have seen in my father and you, and you do that which you have seen with your father. All right, here's 43 through 51. Why do you not understand my speech, even because you cannot hear my words? This is what we're going through now. Exactly what this scripture says, we're, we're experiencing it right now. It's the same thing. When we speak, they don't understand what we're saying. Haven't you noticed it? I have, big time. You are of your father the devil and the lust of your father you will do. He was a murderer from the beginning and abode not in the truth because there is no truth in him. When he speaketh a lie, he speaketh of his own for he is a liar and the father of it. And because I tell you the truth, you believe me not. Which of you convince me of sin? And if I say the truth, why do you not believe me? He that is of God heareth God's words. You therefore hear them not, because you are not of God. What is it we're seeing right now? All right, why is it that they don't see? You see what I'm saying? This, I know that this is the truth here, because what Jesus was saying then, this is what we're seeing now with all these other people. They didn't understand then, they don't understand now. When Jesus said that his body was a temple, destroy it, and I'll raise it in three days, they didn't understand it then, they don't understand it now. <clears throat> and we know perfectly well the temple being built in 46 years, and our body has 46 chromosomes, 23 from each parent, which is 46. We know perfectly well. 
But they don't even understand that today. Not even the pastors in the pulpit. Why? Because they've made merchandise in, of you. And the cares of this life has choked it out. That's why. Scripture tells us why. We all don't have to guess at it or wonder or, or speculate or my interpretation of it. It tells me perfectly clearly why. We don't have to uh, interpret what we think it means. It clearly tells us what it means and why we're seeing what we're seeing. Even Jesus' words when he spoke then. And look at when we're speaking now, they don't receive us any more than they received him then. Then answered the Jews, and they said unto him, Say we not well that thou art a Samaritan has a devil? Yeah, and I got people say that about me now. I've been having them coming against me for a long time. Saying, even the scriptures that I read, saying it's doctrines of devils. It's out of the King James Bible, the Holy Word of God. They can't understand it or receive it. They're just like the, what the Pharisees were then. And the people around them. They didn't want to receive them. Some did, but not many. And it's a lot like what it is right now. 49. All right, I'm still in 8, verse 49. And Jesus answered, I have not a devil, but I honor my Father, which you, ye do dishonor me. Remember it says some are vessels of honor and some of dishonor. And I seek not my own glory. There is one that seeketh and judgeth. Verily I say unto you, if a man keeps my sayings, he shall never see death. Yeah, these are some amazing times we're in, man. You know, grab hold of these things and know who you are in Christ. Yeah, and know who we are. All right, John chapter 15, 18, 19, and 20. If the world hates you, know that it hated me before it hated you. If you were of the world, the world would love his own. But because you are not of the world, but I have chosen you out of the world, therefore the world hateth you. 20. Remember the word that I said unto you, the servant is not greater than his Lord. If they have persecuted me, they will also persecute you. If they have kept my saying, they will keep yours also. But all these things will they do unto you for my name's sake, because they know not him that sent me. If I had not come and spoken unto them, they had not had sin. But now they have no cloak for their sin. I got about an hour and a half drive to where I'm going, you guys. Okay, so. Let us be strong, you guys, and know this. When we're reading scripture, what Jesus was seeing and doing then, we're seeing it now. It's like a mirrored image of it. It's like a mirrored image. The only difference is we've got all this technology, which ain't any good. You know, it's done really no good. It's made the wealthy wealthier, and it's made the poor poorer, and, uh, and it's destroyed the planet. You know what I mean? Everything that they're doing, you know? And remember this, you guys. He said, the devil, he deceiveth the whole world. You guys, there's another thing. We see... Um, we see... Everything going on here... Like it is over there. In America. Graffiti. Going on everywhere, you guys. It's going on everywhere. Just let you see a little bit of this here, you know. There's some of the mountains there, you guys. All right, be strong. God bless each and every one of you.
we see the graffiti going on here just like we see it going on everywhere else you know it's it's all spiritual you know this is why you know most people ain't waking up they're asleep and it is what it is we still do what we do and they are going to do what they're going to do and this is where we say by grace through faith through jesus christ we were predestined for this time that we're in and they don't understand our words no more than they understood his you know but we understand why because the scripture that we read today they don't read it they don't understand it you know i've talked to many people man it's been in church a long time they got stuck in that prosperity love of the world for such a long time that it's blinded them and they no longer know what's what anymore you know but it's caused them a lot of problems harold mentioned to me that you know in the scripture where it goes uh give us of your oil we say no lest there's not be enough for us and you you know but we'll see how that turns out we know it's getting close and uh we've been trying to warn him you know i don't understand it i only know that i've seen when we leave they change and they turn to try to come against us at that last moment god bless y'all in the name of our lord and our savior jesus christ